In this video, I'll take a look at what is known as a descending triangle chart pattern and show you how to trade it. So a descending triangle chart pattern is just simply when you, you have a market that is trading between a couple of barriers. This is a downtrend in line. It's descending, hence the name. And what happens is the traders get involved and they try to push price lower and lower and they become more and more aggressive on the downside before eventually, at least this is what it implies, that they break through. You can see that there is relatively stubborn support in this case here at 73.39. Every time we rally, sellers come in, get a little bit more aggressive. Now, the one thing about triangles, and this is true with all of them, it's not just descending triangles, uh, that you need to see it break before 80% from the back to the apex here. Another thing that works out great with triangles is you have a measuring stick. The height of the triangle from the highest to the lowest point is your target on a breakout. Stop loss just goes on the other side of this downtrend line and off you go. Think of it this way, it's more or less continued pressure, you know, at least in this case in descending triangle, to, to the downside that eventually gives way. These can happen on any time frame and of course um, can happen in any market. So there are different ways to look at a triangle. Some people will use the the body and not the wicks. So in this case, you could draw a triangle like this. So it's a resistance line. It's a support line. We break the support line. Then you start to look for a measured move from the top to the bottom on a breakout. And you do, in fact, get it. You turn around in that case and go back above but your stop loss would have been here your targets down there and you you can see that you clearly manage that here on the daily time frame for the aussie dollar there um, are times when they form and nothing happens so for example you could have had that and we broke out of it and that's fine you don't short until you get below and your entry can either be on a break below the line or a candle close below the line. That comes down to risk appetite and you know how aggressive you really want to be with the market. Some people are more aggressive naturally than others. Um, but really, the best descending triangle setups that you have are ones that are in markets that are previously falling. They, they do have the most likelihood of working out um, because for example this descending triangle here did work out uh, but barely uh, you're going to have much more momentum to the downside in a negative market so you can see here clearly we're in a downtrend if you find a triangle in that type of environment a descending triangle after a bounce that makes more sense and hopefully you understand that. They can be reversals. You can see that was a bit of a reversal, um, although that's kind of a steep and ugly triangle. It certainly uh, does fit the profile. So here's an interesting one. You can see that we have, and this is the hourly chart. You can see that we, uh, you know, and you can use the wicks on this one. It didn't really matter. Um, wouldn't have changed the analysis one way or the other. But notice how we rallied into this and ran into trouble. Well, this is where a concept like support and resistance could come into play. This is an area that's obvious resistance. And you had been falling pretty significantly from there. Your stop loss would go above here. And your target would be the height of this triangle. Which can be expressed... as so which makes sense because there's a little bit of support there we did break below there um but it makes sense that we would go back to this area so it all lines up quite neatly and nicely and this happens time and time again time frame it doesn't really matter 
Um, although you're going to get the biggest gains and uh, the most reliable signals on the higher time frames, but that's going to be due um, or that's going to be due to the significant amount of effort that needs to be put in to put the pattern on the chart. Again, a very common pattern that a lot of people like. 